Hey, this is Mailbag with ukulele. Haven't been singing these intros because I've been lazy. Hey everybody, I'm David and welcome to Mailbag. Before I open your guys' letters, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who voted this week in the YouTube On The Rise contest thingy. I don't know if we won, um, but I can say that we didn't get as, as many votes as the other guy. We were about 200 short, but we did get um, about 1,600 something, 650 votes, which is a lot of people, and I just am so grateful for every single one of them. And you. You beautiful, awesome people. The contest is judged on a few other things, including the votes, so I'll let you guys know as soon as I find out who the winner is, and um, yeah, thank you again. So this week we have three letters. Um, it's actually four, but there's something confusing about this one. This envelope arrived with no stamp, like from, you know, the post office where they do this little flag thingy. Um, there, there's nothing there, and then when there's no return address, and when you open the envelope, or when I opened the envelope, it was empty. So, if this looks familiar to you, if if you think this is your envelope, please let me know, and uh, let me know what the contents were, because it's empty. Uh, but the other letters, we have this package from John, who was from New York, and I was just there last month. Aww. I love these. These bracelets are friggin' awesome. They're like, they're made of paratrooper cord, and I'm going to be really surprised if it fits okay. If it's, it's a little bit big, but that's cool. <laughs> what I love about these is that they're made from this nylon, or it's like a cotton, really thick, sturdy cord that they use in the military. 550 paratrooper cord. Um, I actually made one of these myself um, a couple months ago, and I've been meaning to buy these things, but I haven't, I haven't made the purchase yet. So... This is very cool. Thank you, John. It says, Hi, David. My name is John, and I live in upstate New York. When I started watching your videos, I thought to myself how cool it would be to own and play an ocarina. So after saving up enough money, the first ocarina I bought was the Ocarina of Time from Songbird Ocarinas. Now I have 10 ocarinas thanks to your inspirational videos. Thank you so much for inspiring me and my brother to play ocarina. I have included in my letter a paracord bracelet made by me and a vintage Cracker Jacks ocarina by the CJ Company. The toy ocarina does not sound that great, but it is a cool collectible item. I hope that the paracord bracelet fits. I had to estimate the size. God bless, John. That's very cool, John. Thank you. As you can see, it's a little bit big, but I'll, I'll figure it out. I actually know how to make it, so I might just shorten it a little bit. These take time to make. Like I said, I made one. This takes a while, so thank you for sending me that. Very cool that you're now an ocarina collector. I'm glad uh, there's other... Ocarina fanatics out there like me, and thank you for this. I have been meaning to get one of these Cracker Jack Ocarinas for a while, so that is very cool. You can see it says, hopefully you can see it says Ocarina, CJ Company, and on the back it says below here. These are from the 1940s and 50s during the big Ocarina boom here in the U.S., and they threw them in the Cracker Jack boxes just um, for little keepsake toys. I'm going to try it out. You can barely get an octave out of it, but you're right, it doesn't play very good. Thank you so much, John. I really appreciate it. Our next letter comes from Jonathan out of Ohio, and he drew me some cool little drawings in the back, including a piranha plant from Mario, a Poka or Voltorb Pokemon, and then a Triforce from the Royal Emblem. I forgot what it's called. Insignia thingy. All right, so there's a variety of things in this envelope, and there's this piece of paper that says, Me First. You said you look forward to getting more letters from us, so here it is. P.S. I plan to get one to you every two weeks or so. Okay. To Doc Jazz 4, 5, and 6. Yes, those are all my channels. Got a couple of things in there. It says Dragon 3. It might be a YouTube name or something. The Ock Battle of All Time. Link versus Doc Jazz 4. Play. I like my hair. And then the Torchic 
very cute. It says, hey David, yes, this is the same Jonathan from the Mudkit Plays Ocarina. Unfortunately, I don't have any music for you this time. However, I am sending you several pictures, random as they may be. Again, two pics. One is a dragon one. One is you and Link in an Ock battle. The envelope, well, you probably already explained it. A cool card with your name on it. On the next page are some questions I want to know about you. Sincerely, Jonathan. P.S. I didn't forget your awesome sideburns in the Ock fight. Question one. I'm pretty sure you're a Christian. What denomination are you? I am a non-denominational Christian, so no specific denomination like Baptist or Lutheran or Methodist or any of that stuff. So it just basically means that I try to follow just what the Bible says. Um, not without teaching, of course, but um, yeah, no outside source, sources of, or books um, like some of those other churches do. Not that I'm knocking that. Um, that's just what I believe. Three, what do you do all day? That is a good question. I do work from my home. Uh, I work for Sombra Ocarinas. I'm the guy that does most of their Facebook posts and their tweets, and um, I make videos for them. I do their songbooks, like, uh, what do I have here? This was done by me. I'm working on three others right now as well. Um, they're very good books, if I, don't say, if I do say so myself. Uh, I give ocarina lessons. Um, I uh, what else do I do? I write music. Um, I write stuff about ocarinas. I play those back there. I practice. I exercise. I go jogging. I love jogging. Um, I go out with friends. Um, and then sometimes I do work outside, like I do small gigs and stuff. So yeah, I have a pretty busy day. Four, what Pokemon should I draw on the envelope next? That is a good question. I will pose that question to the viewing audience right now. What Pokemon should Jonathan draw on the, his next envelope? You decide. And our final letter, if I'm reading this correctly, comes from Private First Class Nicholas uh, from Fort Gordon, Georgia. And it says, Mr. David Ramos, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Nicholas Corview. I'm an 18-year-old who just recently completed basic combat training in the U.S. Army at Fort Benning, Georgia, and have been and have been sent to Fort Gordon, Georgia, for my AIT or Advanced Individual Training. Usually, I would play video games when I had spare time, but recently I've been playing the Ocarina instead. I currently own a Dragon Tooth Ocarina by Songbird Ocarinas and a Warmstone G Mountain Ocarina. Your tutorial video videos, which you had posted on YouTube, were immensely helpful to me as I was learning how to play them. Although I still believe myself to be a novice, I believe that I've achieved enough skills to challenge myself to try and learn how to play more advanced pieces of music. But now that I'm back in school, and because of the additional duties that have been assigned to myself in my platoon, I lack the free time I once had. On top of all this, I have very limited access to computers, which has made the internet surfing incredibly difficult. With that being said, I would like to make a request. Could you please tell me where I can find more sheet music that I can play on my ocarinas? Thank you for taking the time to read this. Sincerely, Private First Class. View. First, Nick, if it's cool, I call you that. Um, thank you for writing, and thank you for joining the army, and your service is much appreciated. I love that you're playing the ocarina in the army, because the ocarina has its roots in, in the army. I actually have a book from the 1940s where the ocarina was issued to the men in, in the service. Favorite songs for men in the service. Especially arranged for ocarina quartets, and you can see the different military branches down there. It's pretty cool. To answer your question, where you can find music for this, if you can read sheet music, that's awesome. Um, there is a website called the Ocarina Network, uh, theocarinanetwork.com, that has a ton of free music that's specifically made for the ocarina. So you can check that out. And um, there's a couple other websites that I'll recommend in the description below. One for video game music, one for anime music. And then I think I know one for just uh, pop music in general. Um, but if there's one that you're looking for specifically, you can let me know if those three sites aren't there. Those, those should give you enough music to look for. Hopefully you'll see this video and be able to, um, to look those up yourself. I can even, what I've even been wanting to do is make digital copies of this. And, um, and post it for others to see. So if I do that, I will, I'll post a link where you can download them in the description below as well. Thank you again, Nick, for writing. Hope you keep the tradition of Ocarina and the Army alive. Um, just keep playing whenever you have time and um, keep getting other guys in your platoon into the Ocarina as well.
Thanks again for your service, dude. And thank you to everybody once again for writing. Thank you for all your support in the contest. I really appreciated that. And uh, I have a couple surprises coming up very soon uh, for Doc Jazz 5 and Doc Jazz 4. So make sure that you're subscribed to both channels. And I hope you guys have an excellent and wonderful weekend. Bye, guys. Yeah, I haven't been singing. <laughs>